Hey guys dear Yoongi here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be talking about one strength and one weakness of a bunch of different K-pop groups. It should go without saying. But please note that these are only just my opinions. And I do not intend to send any hate to any of the artists who feature in this video. However, I would love to hear your thoughts so please let me know in the comments down below. Okay without further ado, let's get started. Strength, their ability to establish a western market so early. Some K-pop groups go their entire careers without breaking through to the western media, whereas that is with touring and performing in America within their first year of debut. Honestly, that is so impressive to me and just shows what they are doing can appeal to a wider global audience. Weakness, I feel that they can be quite predictable. They have two styles for me. One, their lit songs. In this category, you find Pirate King, Say My Name, Wonderland, Fireworks etc etc. And two, the more chilled summary upbeat songs. In this category, you find songs such as Wave and Illusion. Not that having a distinct sound is a bad thing when it's working, but for me, whenever I hear they're coming back with a new release, I already kind of know what to expect from them. Strength, their audience rapport, twice have been really successful in building such a strong supportive audience who have allowed them to continue to grow as artists. A lot of artists can get stuck in a rut of releasing a lot of the same music in order to keep fans happy. But because twice have managed to earn such a strong supportive audience this allows them to nurture and mature their sound as their careers go on. And I think that's really nice to see. Weakness, their app line. I'm so sorry, but I feel like maybe some of you will have seen this coming. The thing is, K-pop groups don't necessarily need to always have rappers and a rap line. And if TWICE were branded as being one of these groups who doesn't have one, I'd have no issue with that. But it's the fact that JYP markets them as having rappers in the group, when honestly there's not really a nice way to say this. But they're not strong rappers. The girls have strengths in other areas so don't necessarily need to be the rappers of the group. I think it would actually be so interesting to see them change it up someday and have music with no raps in where their rappers can utilize their voices instead which are actually stronger. I just think that would make sense and having a weak rap line which is there just for the sake of having one. Strength, their production. BTS are heavily involved in a lot of their music, whether it be in the production or the lyrics and arrangement etc. And I honestly think that shows in the music. I always feel you can appreciate an artist's creation so much more when you can feel that there was some sort of connection from the artist to the music in its creative process. And they didn't just ya know hop in the booth and sing the lyrics they were given. Weakness, as their success has only skyrocketed higher than any of us ever expected. I'm worried that their music is becoming a bit too safe. I completely understand why. Because they are gaining more traction in the West, then it makes sense that their music stick to the pop format to appear to more of a wider audience. But in doing this, I'm really missing the older style more authentic BTS I knew and loved. And I know they are still there because I absolutely adore their B-sides. Honestly Diana's a so MG deserved a music video video and the whole works because it was so amazing. So I don't think this is necessarily their fault. They have to do what they have to do if they want to succeed and I love their seeing them do so. But a selfish part of me does miss their older sound from time to time. Strength. I think nobody can deny that NCT definitely have a really unique concept with all the different units and interchangeable members and so far so good. I think it's been working really well because it allows them to produce music practically all the time without overexerting specific members or groups. Well lol I know. Don't get me started on that. Weakness. However, as much as I do find the idea of all the different NCT units super cool, I do find it can be hard to keep up with and get to know and love all the members. I'm quite a busy person, and for people like myself I do find it hard to find the time to sit down and connect with 23 plus an ever-growing number of members. I think some stands will enjoy getting to know so many members, but for me it is a lot, and I would like to get to know all the members on a deeper level than just their names, position and what unit they're in, but that's a lot lot easier said than done. Lightning. Strength. 
their music is really accessible to a wider global audience they're breaking all these records for a reason and it's not just because they're the only current YG girl group Blackpink's music style and overall aura and appearance as a group is able to reach global audiences and is something that non-k-pop stands are able to enjoy as well which is nice to see I know a lot of non-k-pop listeners can be easily put off by k-pop but the quite western style of Blackpink's music cleverly means that those types of fans can enjoy listening to them too. Weakness. However, on not too distant a point, I do think Blackpink's weakness is this very consistent following of the exact same format. A YouTuber did a really great video exploring this repetitive format that Blackpink almost always use and I'll link it down below. It's basically a very quick and easy format they follow for every comeback song and if they were churning out new songs every other month that is completely understandable. But for a group who only has one comeback a year usually and only have one full length album to date, there's really no excuse for this. In all that time, fans have every right to expect more variety and creativity in the product they so eager await and I don't think they are getting that strength, strength when they are on top of their game stray kids are honestly unbeatable and have it all the vocalists the rappers the dance and stage ability God's menu was song of the year 2020 and nobody can tell me otherwise and hey backdoor was pretty damn amazing too their good songs aren't just good they're really really great and I commend them for managing to create some absolute bangers weakness inconsistency before God's Menu was released, I was having a hard time because I did want to get into standing Stray Kids, but I found it tough because their music was very hit and miss for me. I either really like some of their songs because they are so strong, or I really dislike some of their songs because they just don't do it for me. As much as I love their ability to create some damn K-pop masterpieces, sometimes their concepts can be kind of all over the place. I'm going to be honest please don't come for me, but I hated side effects and double not. They were honestly such a mess. For every impeccable Stray Kids song, there's one I really wish would have stayed in the drafts. Strength. I do think one of Everglow's biggest strengths is that their members are so well-rounded. For example, we have Maya who I would class as one of very few female triple threats in the industry right now. And I know, if you gave her a verse to sing, rap or dance, she'd kill it. Every member is a competent dancer. Aisha can sing and rap and both she and E. Yuanda have unique voices etc etc. So it's nice to see a group with so much talent that I'm excited to see the muse. Weakness. The company's member bias again. This probably comes as no shock there's no hiding that Maya is the group's most well-rounded and talented member and it's actually a good thing that their company are recognizing her talents and allowing her to use them but it's always eventually a cause for concern when groups are heavily centered around one member when those around them are also so competent aside from the fact it probably creates an awkward atmosphere amongst the members I can imagine it also makes the member being sadly focused on feel kind of guilty and even worse I'd hate to see any member under a great deal of stress because their company has put like three quarters of the song on them when they are surrounded by equally talented members this is something their company needs to consider because it's creating animosity amongst fans too. give one of the dancers a dance break let another singer do this chorus if she has just done the verse Okay that's it for today's video, a bit of a longer one, so thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, please let me know if you enjoyed it by hitting the thumbs up and commenting and subscribing down below. There's tons more groups I could discuss so if you'd like to see me talk about anybody in particular, put them in the comments. See you next time.